If your quote process involves back and forth emails or text messages, trying to find the right time to call back or a slow manual follow-up process, you are losing deals, plain and simple. So I'm gonna show you how to build a quote generator that gives your potential customer an instant and personalized price in a form that's beautiful, professional, interactive, and matches your brand. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. Imagine this, someone lands onto your website, they fill out a form, get an instant personalized quote for exactly what they need, and minutes later, a sales rep is hitting them up, asking if they'd like to move forward. No waiting, no email ping pong, and no extra work for you. You don't lift a finger and it works for you 24-7. And yep, behind the scenes, it all syncs up with your database so you collect and capture that lead's details. We are going to be using Fillout today because it's one of our favorite tools at Automation Helpers. It not only enables us to build beautiful, interactive, and smarter forms, but it gives us complete control over the customer experience from the way that the form looks to how it guides someone through their choices. Conditional logic, real-time price calculations, scheduling, payment options, optional upsells, and plenty more. Every customer will get a tailored experience that feels premium, personalized. A relationship is already being built between you and that potential customer. And because Fillout connects seamlessly to Airtable and other tools, every quote request will be captured, stored, and ready for automated follow-ups or even future email campaigns. And here's the real power. You can set up this flow so that the second a quote is submitted, your sales rep is notified, assign that lead, and they reach out. That way, the hot lead gets a follow-up while they're still thinking about your business and your services, not days or weeks later. Okay, so here we are in the quote form or the quote generator. And we're asking the customer for their personal details, details about the job, the project type, some others, as well as specific questions depending on how they respond to this project type. We'll notice we have kitchen, renovation, bathroom, and full home. And then we have kitchen add-ons and bathroom add-ons. Now, before we take a look at how you can actually calculate a value from the user's responses, let's look at how we can utilize conditional logic and fill out to generate a unique experience for our customer. So we're jumping into page logic and here we can see the flow of our form. When someone lands on the form, let me zoom in, we have the cover, that's that first page they'll see, the personal details, details about the job, the project type, and so on and so forth. However, for someone who responds to the project type question with kitchen renovation, we do not want to show them the bathroom add-ons. Pretty simple there. All we need to do is break up the line that we have for our add-ons. We'll move this up here. We'll cancel that, moving that there. And then we'll cancel this because we also have a full home add-on. And then we just want to reconnect this or these to the ending. And there we go. So we currently have the finish, but we also want to add some other possible paths, depending on how the respondent answers to that project type question. Okay, so we have three possible branches or three possible paths. Now, this is the default path, and this is going to occur if these conditions are not met. So we can see here we've got the path directly connected to this condition, which is bathroom add-ons. So if we add a condition, select the question project type, and when the question project type is responded with bathroom renovation, well, Fillout now knows to take the customer on this journey. What about the full home? Well, we need to set the condition there again, selecting the question project type is equal to full home renovation, hit done, and then we can see the branch is moving there. If neither of these conditions are met, well, it's gonna take us through the kitchen add-on. So let's quickly close this, take a look at our form and see how that looks in real time. Now we'll just skip past these and we're going to select kitchen renovation. We'll continue, we'll skip this, we'll skip this, and then we can see kitchen add-ons and we're ready to submit. Those other pages have been hidden. So if we jump back and instead we select continue, these will be seen by everyone no matter what they select. And here we can see kitchen add-ons. But if we jump back and we change our selection from kitchen to bathroom and we move on through, well, the kitchen add-on question is now hidden and instead the submitter will see bathroom add-ons. 
And that's the brilliance of fill out. It's so easy to create unique experiences for your customers. But let's take a look at how we can utilize calculations to build an actual quote generator. We took a look at the logic. Let's now jump back out of the preview. And again, we are going to select logic because calculations, because calculations do live within logic. We can see here we've got page logic selected at the top. Let's select calculations. We'll add a new calculation and we're going to call this quote. Well, yep, we want it to be a number and we'll create that calculation. Do notice you have the ability to choose duration and text. Now, because Fillout offers exceptional scheduling, you will want to utilize the duration calculation feature in your forms. But we are looking at generating a quote value. So we're gonna start with a value of zero. Now you can bring in the responses from your customer to questions. You can also bring in URL parameters, which we will discuss in another video, but we're just gonna start with a value of zero. So let's create a new rule, pretty straightforward. And this rule will be, so when the project type is selected, so we're gonna search project type and we're gonna set it so that when it is kitchen renovation, well, we know when we are doing a kitchen job, we start at a value of 12,000, done. So we've added our first rule to the calculation. Let's add some others. Okay, so we've added a value for when the project type is kitchen, when the project type is bathroom, and when the project type is full home rental. So let's take a look at adding other rules to our calculation, specifically the size of the job we're going to complete. So we'll select the next question, which is size and complexity. And when that is equal to small, we want to change the value. Now we have the option to select add, subtract or multiply. And for this value, a small job, we're just gonna multiply it by one. That means it's just gonna remain as it is. Now you don't need to include that particular rule, but I've just included it to introduce you to the multiplication, the subtraction, and the other things that you can do with that calculation feature. Now I'm gonna add the rest of these rules and then we'll take a look at how this will appear on the front end, but not just that, also how you can connect it to Airtable and shoot this quote over to your customer. Okay, so we added the rest of the calculation rules. Now, before we look at connecting this with the rest of your tech stack and actually setting off the follow-up workflow, we want you to actually share that quote in the form with your customer. So you could directly bring it into the ending page here. And let's just add a paragraph. And to reference a response, a calculation, a URL parameter in fill out, we'll use the at symbol. So we're gonna select calculation and we'll bring in quote. Now I've also gone ahead and included the calculation for quote on our add-ons page so you can see this in real time. Let's take a look again at how this appears. So if we start this bad boy, we'll skip this, skip this, we'll skip, we'll select kitchen renovation, continue. We're gonna select small, we'll also select standard. And here we can see the value of 12,000. So what happens if I select electrical upgrade? There we can see 1,250 has been added to it. What if I select plumbing? There we can see the value has changed again. Then if we were to submit, we'd want to actually show on the ending page that value there. I haven't cleaned that up. You want to jump in and actually format and configure so it looks all nice and pretty. But we are here to look at how we can connect this to our Airtable or our work management database. So we've set up that calculation quickly, the quote. Now let's take a look at how easy it is for us to connect this to our account and also send an email to our customer, a Slack notification to our team and set up an automation in Airtable so that the sales rep automatically follows up with this lead. So up in the top, we're gonna to select integrate. Now you'll see these apps available. These are natively available with Fillout and won't cost you any more to actually connect to them. If I'm to select Airtable there, it will ask me to connect my Airtable account moving forward. You will need to select the base that you actually want to connect to. So I'll select Sales Hub. We'll grant that access. Here we have that base selected. The table is going to be quote. And then what we need to do is actually map the fields from our Airtable database or our Airtable base. Like here we've got quote date. Here we would select the submission date, which is today. And we'll also select the quote amount. And within that, we'd of course use our calculation. And then you want to work through the rest of your field so that you can map the values from your lead quote form over to your Airtable account. Once you're done, all you need to do is select finish setup and you've connected your quote form to your Airtable account. If 
From there, you'll want to jump into your fill out workflows where you can set up your notifications. You can set up a confirmation email that will be sent directly to the customer through the thank you email. Let's jump into here. We'll create this workflow. Form is submitted. That means a quote has been requested and provided. And then in the send email, what we can do is we can directly send this to the email address of the submitter, change the subject, and also include their responses to the form as well as that quote calculation. Decide who is sending the email from. And within the email body, we can personalize this and actually include their details. Selecting that add icon, this just makes it much more personal and builds that customer relationship from the get-go. Then we can bring in that quote value and finish setting that up. Beyond that, you also have the option to connect to Slack or other communication platforms through Zapier to be able to notify your team. Maybe you're using email. Hey, we received a new quote. Let's jump on and actually chat with this lead. Now in Airtable, you can set up an automation so that when a record is created in quotes, you actually update that particular record. So we're gonna select that Airtable record ID. And what we actually want to do is to update quotes update the values. So we could set that up to assign to one of our sales reps and that sales rep will receive a notification so that, hey, you need to reach out to this lead while they're hot, they're ready, and they're thinking about renovating. There is so much more that you can achieve with Fillout specifically when creating these sort of generators. Now, the great thing about Fillout is that you can build beautiful, interactive, and smart forms, but you can connect it to your other apps. You can also set up automations directly from within Fillout or use your automations within Airtable, Notion, or what you use. Beyond that, you also have the ability to use these forms to be embedded in your website or shared via email. If you'd like to learn more about Fillout, then make sure to check out our Fillout playlist we're always adding new videos to it. But if you would like help with your business and setting it up for success, do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.